Hi my loves, sorry for the crazy makeup. I hope that today's video finds you well and if it doesn't, well, then you're in the right place because today we're talking about healing. What's up guys, my name is Savannah. I teach modern hippies how to live a more healthy and holistically natural lifestyle. Today, like I said, we are talking about healing on an individual and collective level. What does it look like? What does it feel like? During this calamitous time, it is important that we look down the barrel of the gun and confront what is really going on in ourselves and around us. You can't heal from something that you haven't yet identified. And through healing ourselves, of course, become empowered and be able to help the movement. Before we dive in, consider taking a hashtag self-care moment and signing up for my free masterclass. Link is down below. It's all about how to transform your anxious energy into manifestation power. We're gonna talk about how to heal yourself and the fact that healing yourself raises your vibration thereby giving others around you the permission to raise their own vibrations, to heal, just by being around them. All healing is self-healing, just like all forgiveness is self-forgiveness. You cannot forgive someone for something that you don't forgive yourself for. For example, let's say that I hate people for being ignorant. It's likely that I hate when I'm ignorant at times. If I hate people for being judgmental, it's likely that I'm judgmental at times. And if I can't forgive that within myself, how could I forgive somebody else for that same thing? It's just like, how could I love someone else if I don't actually love myself? So if all forgiveness is self-forgiveness, then all healing is self-healing because forgiveness really sits at the heart of healing. Healing doesn't have a timeline and it doesn't have a definition. Of course, it's important to note that healing is not a linear thing. It's not a strictly defined thing. I actually asked in my Facebook group this week, what does healing look like to you? And I got a lot of really great different examples. Feel free to pause the video and read them for yourself. Love the people in my group. Come join us, by the way, link down below. Probably my favorite response was this girl right here. She said, healing is everything you do think and feel after the initial damage. So if healing is everything that we think, do, and feel after a traumatic event, then that includes both the good and the bad. So my advice to you on how to heal is not a five-step program. It's not a set of guidelines or rules. It's not even suggestions of different practices. How you heal is by not judging yourself as you move through the process of healing, whatever that looks like for you. We're all healing, we're all growing, we're all learning. And these are some of the most important things that we will do as humans in our lives. So as you're healing yourself first, because maybe you want to heal others, don't judge yourself, okay? You're doing your best. You're just learning, you're just growing. You're just healing, okay? If I could recommend one thing besides not judging yourself, it would be to not shy away from things that need to be confronted. Listen to your intuition, be open to listening, and you'll be shown the path if you're listening, if you're willing to follow, if you're not gonna let fear hold you back. I talk a lot with my clients about creating from love versus creating from fear, and really what I'm talking about is ruling with the spirit versus ruling with the ego. So as you go forward in your healing journey, whatever from and whatever that looks like and feels like to you, and remember it's not linear, okay? It looks like this, it's not like, Boop. Remember to create from love. Remember to create from an energy of love. Anytime you have a thought, feeling, or action, ask yourself, is this based in fear or is this based in love? Go with love, go with the spirit. When I say raise your vibration, what I mean by that is, when I say raise your vibration, that's a reference to you becoming closer to your highest self. So the, the, the more you raise your vibration, the more you become closer to your higher self, the more that your light being and spiritful energy is around other people, the more that they are going to be enabled to raise their vibration, become their higher self. It's okay to let go of things that no longer serve you in your healing journey, and it's okay to stop judging yourself. It's okay to go backwards and up and down as you ascend to your higher self. Next week, I'm talking about money. It is not the root of all evil. We're gonna talk about that a lot. Money is simply a tool. It is simply energy. It's not evil. It's not in and of itself evil. Can it be used for evil? Like, yeah, sure. It can also be used for good. It's just energy. 
All energy can be used for good or evil. Of course, we're going to be talking abundance mindset, which has a lot to do with what I referred to today as creating in love or living in spirit. Subscribe so you don't miss it. Don't forget to give this video a big like. And if you want to learn more about how to live a more natural and holistically healthy lifestyle, start by watching one of these two videos right here. Thank you for watching. You're doing so great, okay? If nobody else has told you, you are doing amazing. You're exactly where you're meant to be right now. Even if it feels bad, even if it's shitty right now, okay? I love you. Have a blissful day.